today we're going to review bestbeerfridges.com. So, first impression. This website looks like it's a site about beers, fridges. It seems to be a very simple blog website with default WordPress sidebar items. So it seems relatively new. It's like somebody just set it up quickly. Um, but scrolling down, I do see a bunch of contents. It seems to be very, um, it seems to be a lot of contents, a lot of posts about beer fridges. So the domain name is pretty good. It's very SEO targeted domain name. So it makes me feel like this is a May for Athens website. And when you go into each article, you see basically, so, okay, it's doing almost a full preview of the article in the homepage, meaning the people won't even need to click on read more to read the whole article. So, okay, so what is the site about? So first thing, on the site's doing a good job of telling you what it, of what it is about. It's about beer fridges reviews. And the homepage is sort of digestible in five seconds that I could tell what the website is about very quickly. And it doesn't have a prominent logo. The logo is pretty much just the text, beer fridge reviews. Uh, this is different than the website name, so you probably need to match it up to make it uh, not confuse the visitors. And in terms of about, about, about fold, this website is doing sort of okay job in that I don't need to scroll anything and to see contents right away, a menu, and a right sidebar. I don't see any ads, which is good. It means this website is not generating revenue by ads. And let's look at navigation. It has a very simple top nav and the standard right sidebar. So in the top nav, under about us, you can see more items. And I don't like the color for the orange and the red. I don't know how matchy they are. Um, this color seems to be a bit extreme to me. I do like the subtle fade effect. And the menu is very simple. It tells you exactly what you need, what the sections are for this. I don't know about these articles here, since you're already on the homepage, it has a bunch of articles. So it may be redundant. In terms of navigation on the sidebar, you have recent posts, which is good for to show people what the newest posts are. And then you have categories, which is also a bit redundant, since you already have things on top. Now, this other thing I always look at when I review a website is the search feature. Right now, it seems to be missing a search feature. So the best way to get people to find your content is actually a search box where people can enter what they want to look for when they go to your website. So I suggest you put a search button or a search input box somewhere here. Now, the, every website needs to have a contact footer or uh, about us things like that. So I see it here, it's on the top nav, but uh, people are trained to look at the bottom of the page to see, to look for that information. So let me scroll down and I don't see, oh, there's a search. So it's on the very bottom of the website. It's not ideal. And I don't see any about us or anything down here. So you should probably put that in. Now the next thing I usually do is to look for a custom 404 page. Let's say I enter an invalid link. Let's see what this takes us. So it does have a 404 and page not found and a search box. So this is a pretty standard for any WordPress themed website. So this is good. Now social media integration. This website does not have any social media integration, meaning you cannot share this article that I like if you uh, easily. So if I go into the article, I cannot find any share buttons. So this is very important if you want to make your website popular. 
you need to have some share buttons. And that's a basic look of this website for first impression. Let's look at in, uh, performance. Performance is very, very important when you do websites. Uh, it's very, it's part of the reason people stay or go based on how fast your page loads. So I want to see how fast this page loads by doing a hard refresh. So it loads in 195 milliseconds, which is not bad. Um, but that's sort of expected for a website with mostly text and really simple looking website. So this is not bad. Um, the one thing I noticed is this website seems to be put together very quickly. So you probably want to spend more time on this thing to make it not look very generic. So let me look to see if there's any caching. Seems to be very simple and generic. Yeah, it doesn't have any CDM on it. So that means every request goes to this website, goes directly to your server. So that's not a good thing. You probably need some sort of shield on top of that if you are expecting a lot of traffic. But if you're not, then this is fine. Now, let's look at ads. This website does not have any standard AdSense ads or any inter, like in ads that interrupt your experience. So the one thing I noticed is they have Amazon ads here. So I bet this is how they make money by giving product reviews and then link them to places where they can buy the ads, buy the products. And the owner gets a commission if the person actually buys it. So this is a good way of doing it and I like it. In terms of Let's look at the errors on this page to see if there's any errors when you load the page. So no errors. This is extremely nice. Websites, and then again, this website is simple. You shouldn't expect any errors in the console. So that's good. And let's quickly look at the minimap to see if they have any weird stuff going on. So this is good for doing handling different versions of IE and but it has a lot of meta tags for general SEO and it has the OG tag so it's using the Yoast SEO plugin which is good it has feeds you are to the feeds and here you see pretty standard WordPress components so I would suggest all of these JS get minified. So you probably need to find a plugin where they minify all your JavaScript and CSS to one file. This way your website will load even faster. Standard stuff. And here you have more JavaScript modules. So it's using Jetpack, the contact form plugin. So it's, it seems to be pretty standard. So this site, it's a standard WordPress site with a lot of plugins. So this is the conclusion of the performance review. And now I want to give talk about suggestions. As I talked about before, you need to add a search button, either a search button here in the menu or a search box over here. This gives people a way to find contents quickly rather than looking through your categories or scroll down to find what they might look for. And this, you need a logo, a really good logo to display your brand and make people become familiar with your brand. And this here needs to match your domain name. This orange here, I don't really like the color. It's not professional looking. It's, it seems very amateur. And if there's one thing you want people to buy products from your review is to, you have to make it sound official and authoritative. That way people will believe you and then they will buy from you and listen to your recommendations. I wouldn't put a us up here. I'll probably put it in the footer somewhere, all that information here. 
and this menu, which seems to be pretty standard, you probably want to have a menu and a submenu of different categories of things you want to do. And I will also put social media buttons here, like a Facebook icon or a Twitter icon up here and also here. So you can tell people to get in touch with you in different ways than the website. And you also need share buttons on all of these articles so people can share these buttons, these articles quickly and thus giving you more content. Here, this sub headline is very generic looking. So I will spend some time or pay some freelancers to make this look professional and clean. You need to clean up the sidebar. This thing here is really not professional and it's not very good looking. So. And as for more suggestions, I will put comments down here to get people to engage to your, with your content. Rather than having no comments, people will probably uh, not feel safe that other people may, not, may also like or dislike your content. This photo needs work, uh, at least three columns, and it shouldn't be this long. This is very bad. And here, if you can help it, I will remove this footer because Yes, you want to give credits to the author of the theme, but if you are operating for a professional website, you need to take out these things. Here, I don't really love this color and I don't really love the scroll back top feature. Um, it's always bothering me when you do this on desktop and mobile, so I will get rid of that. In general, you probably need a better WordPress theme if you want to take care of these problems, find a theme that addresses all that problems and you should be good to go. Um, so thanks for watching this review of bestbeerfridges.com. If you guys want to get your website review, please look at the link on the description where you can submit your website and we'll do a review for you.